Deputy Minister of uh, Information, the Director General of National Population Council, the representatives from Ghana Statistical Services, the representative from PRIPS, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. The Director General has just uh, summarized what population is all about within a very short time, as the Deputy Minister uh, indicated. UNFPA, as the United Nations Population Agency that deals with population and all that relates to it, is pleased that today we are starting the celebration of World Population Day with this press briefing. Knowledge is power. And like somebody said, if you think education is not useful, go and embrace. Okay, I won't say. <laughs> and what that means is that the more we know about our population, the better for us. In this regard, the celebration of World Population Day is to bring our attention to population issues. As was mentioned by the Director General, we are inching towards 8 billion people on the planet Earth. In fact, the United Nations and experts have indicated that by November 2022, the world population will definitely be about 8 billion. But 8 billion is not the problem. What is the problem? The problem is what is the quality of that 8 billion? We are more than half of that 8 billion are extremely poor. About 25% of that 8 billion have not access to education. And more than 50% of that population cannot comfortably say, I will have health services. That is the problem. The problem of the quality of life, the problem of quality of the population, the problem of access to what makes quality of population. And this is where it becomes important for Ghana. What was the population of Ghana in 1957? Six million. By 2022, what is the population of Ghana? 32.1 million. What you can provide in 1950 to six million will definitely multiply by 2022. So is the economy growing in such a way that there will be provision for this 32 million. And remember, 32 million is what you think is the population of Ghana. You have forgotten that people also from outside come into Ghana to help you consume. So how do you take care of the 32 million and the people that also come into Ghana? This is where investing in the population of Ghana becomes critical. Without investing in the population and taking the population into consideration in planning as the central focus, then we will be developing at a different trajectory from what the population needs. To ensure that development is directed to the population. Ghana must invest 
and promote systems and economies that take care of the population. The good news is that the population of Ghana is at a stage where it can begin to harness what we call demographic dividend. And what is demographic dividend? It's a situation where the number of workers, young people, the youth, is large enough to take care of the children, the elderly, and themselves. The question is, what is Ghana doing about demographic dividends? Are we taking this into consideration? Also, if Ghana is to move forward, and already I said move forward, this means Ghana has been moving, and actually in the right direction. But to do more, you need to consider the, direct, the trajectory of the population itself. What is the growth rate of Ghana's population? How many years will it take for Ghana's population to double? These are questions that are central to the development of Ghana. Investment, investment, and investment in the people in education, in health, and quality of life of Ghanaians is paramount. And therefore, in 2022 celebration of World Population Day, the question that we ask ourselves is, to what extent is, are we investing in the people? It's not just mere figures that are critical. Finally, Ghana is a member of the global community. Whatever happens in any part of the world today affects Ghana. And what happens in Ghana affects the region. And therefore, Ghana must learn from what is happening around the world. Example of China was given earlier that it has a large population, but it's taking care of its people. The growth rate of Chinese population is not as fast as we have in Africa. And therefore, Ghana must collaborate, learn lessons from what happens in neighboring populations and in global population. By the year, zero AD. The population of the world was just about 195 or 192 million. It takes another two centuries for the population to reach one billion. One billion was about 1803, 1804 by the estimate of experts. By the time we were celebrating seven billion we are now counting how many years in terms of decades it will take world population to double. And today, we see that it has reduced so short that world population will continue to double. In 2011, we celebrated the seventh billion population. 2022, we are celebrating the eight billion population. How many years? Whereas the doubling was, and to reach one billion was being in centuries. Now we are talking of just decades. And the same thing is happening in the population of Ghana. And therefore, Ghana must learn lessons from what is happening in the global community, in the West African region, and indeed in the immediate neighboring uh, countries. With this, UNFPA stand by Ghana on all efforts to raise the quality of life of the population. Thank you very much.